joined now by Lady Bucks head coach Sarah Condren. Coach had a tough road trip and then came back hoping to continue on winning ways here at Canale and just didn't seem like the Lady Bucks, Dr. Smell and I talked, just didn't seem like they'd ever quite get it clicking tonight. A lot of it had to do with Mississippi College stepping in passing lanes and all, but just seemed like a lot of soft passes that gave them the opportunity to get a lot of turnovers. I mean, the turnovers and assists of turnover was turnovers to assist tonight instead of the normal assist to turnover, it seemed like. Right, yeah, no, I, I don't... I don't have a lot of answers. Uh, <laughs> if I did, we wouldn't be playing as bad as we are right now. But it, it's just I, – I, I thought going on the road trip last week, we had two great days of preparation. Going into the road trip, I felt really confident. Um, and, you know, we at West Florida, we play great defensively and shoot 25% from the field offensively. And you're just not going to win many games scoring 43 points. Right. And, you know, you then on Saturday, we play really well offensively, score 70 and give up 80. And, and, and then tonight, we score 67 and give up 79. And, I mean, I, I, I just – I don't know. Like, we, we'll play well offensively one game and, and defensively the next. And, and it just – we're just not playing very well right now, yeah. and, and I, I don't – I felt like we've had good preparation, but it's just not carrying over into games, and, and I don't know. I just don't know right now. You know, watching warm-ups and all, it seemed like they really were, you know, fired up. They were hitting their threes and their warm-ups and just really – and then it just didn't seem – and I know there was some foul trouble with Sam, which really hurts to be in the kind of the heart and soul underneath and out. And then the third quarter, that foul on her – she was the third foul in that sequence, I thought Sarah Owen had her first, yeah. and then Rachel might have gotten her, and he blows the whistle as there's contact with Sam, and he called a foul on Sam, and that just fourth foul that early just really seemed to sink the Lady Vols because they're Lady Bucks <laughs> as they went on. Uh, they went on. Uh, they they won the third quarter big time at that point, 25 to 12, and it was yeah. just you almost got back in it a couple times in the fourth quarter, but just could not get all the way back. Uh, we, we just, you know. I, the, one one thing that I kind of I guess I would say complain about all year would be that we haven't played a full 40 minute game yet you know and, and when we're playing well like I, I'd like to see us play a full 40 minute game to see how good we actually could be but you know tonight we we didn't play a full game again you know we wait till it's too late to start playing and and, and you know like I just we've getting getting production from three players and then there's not much production I mean it, well, the production is its inconsistent. You know, one game it's one player, one game it's another player. And, and you know, I, I just, I just, I don't know. I, I really, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. And, and what, 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 what's the difference in when we were playing really well and then, you know, we even go two and two without Sam and, and then we get her back and, and now we're not playing very well. And I don't know what the difference is. Yeah. And I, and I know it's, it's frustrating, like I say, because, you, you know, we talked about the depth that you normally, or CBU teams haven't had at this point of the season, that you're fortunate that you have, but now it's trying to plug in the right combinations that, you know, did work earlier in the year, and now they might not be working as well now, but, but I, I'm sure it is frustrating to you and the Lady Bucks. I mean, you know they're frustrated too, right. uh, besides disappointed. I mean, you know, still in the thick of getting in the playoffs, but home advantage now is is probably dwindling pretty quick. Still three games left. Big one down at Delta. Uh, and then two games back here against Huntsville, who's, who's, you know, potentially could be a win. And then North Al, they're playing pretty well right now. But, again, it's a home game with senior day for the two seniors. I, I, I imagine we're doing that on that Saturday. Yes. Yes. So, you know, as, as we said earlier with this with the women's teams, a couple teams have started to separate, but I still feel 
anybody that gets in the tournament can put together three games and win the thing. Right. Well, and, and, and the Lady Bucks, maybe that's when the 40 minutes, we just need to get in and hope that's when the 40 minutes start oh, to play. And that's the key. we got to get in. You yeah. know, I mean, three weeks ago we were, we were fighting to host, and, and now we're, we're fighting to get in. And, and some of these teams that we might end up tied with, with Union and Mississippi College and even maybe Delta, depending on what happens with our North Isle game, we don't hold any tiebreakers. You know, like we, we need to beat Delta on Saturday. That'd you be know, a sweep and at that least. would be a sweep, and that would help. But you know, like we don't hold the tiebreaker with Mississippi College. We don't hold the tiebreaker with with Union. Yeah. So I mean, really, this week was is crucial because we're playing these teams that we need to create separation from, and we would control our own destiny. But right. you know, if we don't like we didn't tonight. Then we're going to need some help from some other people, and I'm going to be West Georgia's biggest fan, and, and you know. <laughs> West Al, but I mean, like, we got an opportunity, and, and we got to take advantage of it, and, yeah. and we're just, we, we looked unprepared tonight, and, and that's, I felt like we were, but if your team is unprepared, that's all on coaching. Yeah. Well, like I say, it just, it, it seemed like, you know, Dr. Schmiel and I were talking, it seemed like we would, you know, run our offense, they were in the zone, but they'd step in our passing lanes, anticipating, and how many tip away, how many steals there were, and, you know, it, it's, they definitely knew what we were going to do, and they probably were better than I've seen anybody at executing the defense against that. We've shot bad against the zone in some other games, but I haven't seen the turnovers that happen, and, and, and it's good execution on defense, but offensively, like I say, it just didn't seem like we were quiet. On Dr. Smirelli noticed early on that it just didn't seem sharp, didn't yeah. seem crisp. Well, I was just forcing, yeah. you know, like what we're trying to make passes when we need to reverse it, and, and I, I don't, you know, like I don't, I don't get what we're looking at sometimes, you know, like I mean, we're going to have some turnovers, being aggressive, but you know, there, there's sometimes you just need to reverse the ball, and, and we're, we're trying to force it way too early in the shot clock, you know, so I, I just. I don't know. Some of them were just like I, I don't. I don't know what we're thinking, you know. Yeah. But we'll, well, we'll get it figured out. We we come back to practice tomorrow and we'll, we'll look forward and, and try to go down and, and get get ready for Delta. I'll tell you that that'll be a tough one. It's always tough down there. You know, I noticed in the in the game notes, you know, we've actually played them pretty well here the last few years. We beat them up here. We've never won at Delta. Not one time. Not one time, and, and I'd really Ever. like to change <laughs> I gonna, it. I was going to say, maybe that will be the incentive and the spark yeah. that will get them going to get that sweep at Delta. Get home, win against Huntsville, win against North Al. That would be a big potential tiebreaker, depending yeah. on how everything else shakes out, if you could get that, because North Al's really been making the move right. and really seem to be playing well. And I'm interested to see the triplets I read the article about. Yeah. I, I did not realize I didn't get to see uh, the game down there. And uh, that, that'll be interesting to see them and how they perform. But, uh, Coach, like I said, I know it's disappointing. But just get on them in practice. I'm sure you're going to be a little bit of getting on in practice. Might be good that we're not broadcasting right. that practice tomorrow. <laughs> At least have a headset on you. But, uh, no, just uh, like I say, I'm, I know there's disappointment all the way around. And uh, we just wish you good luck Saturday on the second shortest road trip of the year. And uh, we'll see you back here Thursday against Huntsville. And get one on the road. We'll be watching it. Good luck. I appreciate it. All Thank right. you. All right. Thank you very much.